Jeremiah 29, 11. We, like we've said on all of the all of the scriptures, this is a life changing scripture. <laughs> but the importance of knowing what God says here: these these people were in captivity, and God begins to speak to them, and He says, "For I know the thoughts and the plans I have for you." Now it's important as we read God's word, like we've mentioned, that this is God speaking to me. That it's easy for us to think, okay, well, God will speak to Alan or God will speak to Trey, but God wants to speak to you. And so this is God speaking to us. For, for I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Thoughts and plans for welfare and peace. Listen to this. Not for evil. To give you hope in your final outcome. So when God says he knows his thoughts for you, think about uh, the chair you're sitting in right now. It started with a thought. It was, it was a thought in somebody's mind first, that design, and then they, they made it. God had a thought about you and your purpose and destiny and his plan, and then he made you. He didn't make you and then come up with a plan. He says, no, no matter what family you were born into, no matter what your situation is, he says, I no, God is certain. When God says he knows something, believe me, it's a done deal. I know the thoughts, the thoughts. Psalms 139 says his thoughts towards you are more than the grains of sand on the seashore. I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. He says in these thoughts, there's not one ounce of evil in it. He says my thoughts for you, they're good and they're for peace and they're to help you in your final outcome, to give you hope. Hope means a confident expecta expectation. When you know that God, His thoughts towards you are more than the grains of sand on the seashore, and their ever thought is good, they're good. It, whatever your name is, He's thinking it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. The plan that He has for you. Now, think about He has the plan, but we have to choose to walk in this plan. So he's thinking about you and he has this plan. He says, now, if you'll step into this plan, he says, it's good. <laughs> Everything about, yeah, there's in the world, he says, John 16, 33, you're going to have trials and tribulations and troubles. He says, but if you'll stay in my plan, I've already overcome the world and deprived of the power to harm you. Stay with me here. That's what he's saying. Stay in relationships. Stay in the word. Stay knowing that God loves you and you love him and you're called according to his purpose. He says, because my plan and my plan, you overcome and my plan, you're victorious and my plan, you're a winner and my plan, there is a way out of this and my plan, there's wisdom. He says, I'm thinking about you and I have a plan for you. Stay with me. Always goes back to relationship, doesn't it, mm -hmm. Alan? Every single thing. It's, it's not just about being able to quote a scripture. It's not about how much you can know of the Bible. It's about a personal relationship with a God who loves you, loves me, loves us, and he wants us to experience his will on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah, that's so good. I just <clears throat> thought about like how we <clears throat> have people call us from time to time, right? And sometimes I'll have a, a close friend call me and just say, Hey, Al, I, <clears throat> I didn't really want anything. I was, I was thinking about you. And I just thought I'd give you a call. And it, it always feels good, doesn't it, to know that you have a friend that's thinking about you, doesn't really want anything. And to think that the creator of the universe is telling us. I mean, and this scripture is actually quoted a lot. And a lot of people say, yeah, I love that scripture. But to bring it into like a personal relationship that he's thinking about you. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to take ownership of that. And if we do have a personal relationship with the Lord, how special is that? I mean, it's special, you know, when a friend thinks about you and calls you on the phone, but to know that the one that's all-powerful, all-knowing, knows the beginning from the end. He, he knew all about me before I was even born. I mean, that blows me away, even trying to wrap my brain yeah. around that. <laughs> but how cool it is that with... Seven billion people on the earth, and he's thinking about you. Yeah, he's thinking about me. Uh, wow, that's that's. If it's not flattering, it should be, <laughs> and it helps me to. It, and it does. I'm just sharing with these guys that it irks me when someone refers to to Jesus as the man upstairs or God the Father as the man upstairs. Uh, we we should have so much more of a personal relationship with him than to throw something like that 
Oh, the man upstairs. I'm not sure if the man upstairs even cares about me. Well, everything about the Word of God, if you don't think He cares about you, check it out. Like yeah. everything that He did for us, given His only begotten Son. And have you starting to notice how all these scriptures are interconnected and they're all working together to tell a story? And what's that story? Is that we have a personal relationship with the Lord. How special that is. And the more we know Him, and the more we know ourselves, do you know what you're capable of with, with God living in you, with that anointing and that power in our life, uh, and then that road? We're, we're all on, what's interesting too about rope, and we all have a, a path. God had a certain path for me, had a certain path for Trey, had a certain path for Clay O'Brien Cooper. Me and Clay have a lot in common. We were best friends since we were really, really young. <clears throat> and uh, I even had a, another world champion guy say that they looked up to me and Clay a lot or whatever and uh, how the gold buckle didn't mean anything to him and it was like almost like a big disappointment. And the only thing was lacking was the faith part. <clears throat> didn't really ever realize how much God loved him and... and uh, how he wanted to be a part of everything in his life. And so the path that he followed of me and Clay trying to win the world championship wasn't quite as rewarding as the one, like when Clay won his championship or myself, we knew that we love God and are called according to his purpose. So all the divine appointments, all the people that we've got to share with, like, like Trey and I that get to do so much together, which is so fun, Clay and I have got to do like articles called Pressing On Articles and uh, they, were, they were just like really fun sharing about what God meant to us and what He's done in our life and just trying to encourage other people to embrace that relationship. Uh, but I think that scripture is so powerful, Jeremiah 29, 11. Know that He's thinking about you. Uh, it's so cool to know and that helps your faith too, right? to know that God's always thinking about us. Uh, and I think so, so many times, even myself, there's kind of a roller coaster thing that goes on in your life with your faith. To always know, no matter what happens, He's thinking about you. He cares about you. So I, ho I hope that means a lot to you, that scripture. Meditate on All these scriptures we're sharing with you, pray about them, meditate on them. Ask God what they mean to you. They might mean a little bit something different to you than they do Trey or me. You can tell that Trey and I have a commonality with us about our revelation of these scriptures, but still they're a little bit different for Trey than me because of all the different things I've had happen in my life. And Trey's had a different series of things happen in his life. And you're going to be the same way. So anyway, meditate on the Word. Smartytraining.com you can go to that. We're going to have all these scriptures on there. We actually plan on putting each one of these scriptures on our caps and our, our t-shirts, hoodies, other things. And So anyway, <clears throat> we'll make them available uh, as much as we possibly can. But you can definitely go to that website or Facebook, Smarty Facebook, and see all of them. Trey's website. <clears throat>